Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In the previous video, we talk about the single cycle implementation of the processor and its control unit. Today I want to talk about the multi-cycle implementation of the processor. As we have seen, single cycle implementation also easy to implement but could potentially be very inefficient. In single cycle we define a clock cycle to be the length of the time that we need to execute a single instruction. So our lower bound on the clock period is the length of the most time consuming instruction. As you remember, it was load board instruction. So as you remember in the previous example, for example, jump in instruction needs only for a nanosecond. But our clock period must be 30 nanosecond to accommodate the load for the instruction. We can resolve some of these disadvantages by introducing a little more complexity to our data path. Instead of viewing the instruction as one big task that needs to be performed in multi-cycle, the instruction are broken up into smaller, fundamental steps. As a result, we can shorten the clock period and perform the instructions incrementally across multiple cycles. So what are these fundamental steps? Let's take a look at what our instructions actually need to do for our format type instruction. These are the steps that should be performed first, and instruction is first for an instruction memory and the program counter is incremented. Then we have to read to sources values from the register file. After that, perform the value operation on the register data operand and finally write the result of the value operation to the register file for the load word instruction. We have different steps again. First, an instruction is fetched from an instruction memory and the program controller is incremented. Then create a source register value from the register file and sign extended 16 least significant bit of instruction. The immediate take part perform the IU operation that computed some of the value in the register and the sign extended immediate value from the instruction and find the authors of the operand. Then access date of memory at the address given by the result from the value and finally write the result of memory value to the register file for the store word instruction. The steps are pairs and instruction again is fetched from an instruction memory and the program counter is incremented p to source register values from the register file and sign extended 16 least significant bits of the instruction perform the operation that compute the sum of the value in the register and the sign extended immediate value from the instruction and finally update date of memory at the address given by the result from the value in the branch. Equal instruction steps are one and an instruction is fetched from the instruction memory and the program. Counter is incremented to three to source register values from the register file and sign extended six. Only significant bit of the instruction and then left shifted by two. The value performs a subtract on the data values from the register file. The value of the program counter plus 4 is added with the sign extended left shifted by 2 immediate. Value from the instruction which results in the branch target address. The zero result from the value is used to decide which other result should be used to update the program. 
Counter and finally jump instruction steps are first in instructions fetch from the instruction memory. And the program counter is incremented concatenate the four most significant bit of the program counter. Plus 4 and 26 least significant bits of the instruction and 2 zero bits and assign the result to the program counter. So generally can say we need to perform the following steps for all of the instructions. First instruction. Fetch second instruction. The code and register fetch. Third execution memory artist computation branch completion or jump completion port memory access or Typing instruction completion and fifth memory read completion. Here is a general overview of our new multi-cycle data pad. As you can see now, we have a single memory element that interacts both instruction and data. We have only a single oil unit and there isn't any others in this data path anymore. And also we have several temporary registers in instruction register, which is A and B or added here. Now they are both of the oil use sources have some multiple Excel and also we have one oil output resistor. Here. The other components are the same as the previous one. We have memory data register also here, which is new. So these are the control signals for the new multi-cycle data part. So as we can see, these are the old data path elements that we are already useful here. The memory this time will be used to store both after instruction and data. But in the single cycle we have two memory, one for instruction and one for date instruction and memory. Data. Register two new registers in instruction. Register holds the instruction after it's been pulled from memory memory data register or MDR temporarily. Holds data up from memory until the next cycle. Register A and B temporarily hold the contents of vintages 1 and 2 until the next cycle or new out. Register temporarily holds the contents of the oil unit till the next cycle. So every register is written on every cycle except for the instruction register. Here we have one multiple XA and one control signal I or the instruction or data control. If it is zero, then the value of the program content will be selected and comes to the authors plus of the memory and we read one instruction if it is one then the value out will be used as the address and the data will be read from the memory and should be stored in the memory data register for the instruction or the control signal when it is zero the content of the program content is used as the address for the memory unit and when it is one-tenth of the value out is used as the address for the memory unit. Here we have another multiple Excel 2 input and one output and its control signal is registered destination. When registered destination is zero, this operand will be selected as the destination register and the result will be a store in this one. When it is one this the instruction 1115 will be selected as the operand and it will be used as the destination register and the result will be stored on that register. So this is the ADA and this is the R the fields of the instruction. As you remember in the previous chapter, another multiple Excel is added here. Memory to register is the name of the control signal for this one. As you can see, 
we have two options on comes from the oil you put or the value out register and the other one comes from the memory data register. So by this way, we can decide later that we read from the memory should be stored in the register file. Or the result that computed by one is stored in the value out register should be used as result and it should be stored in a register for the our type instruction we should select for the note 14 instruction we should select one the value inputs have multiplexed excel a 2 by 1 multiple excel for the value source a and 4 by 1 multiplex therefore i'll use source b so these are the name of the control signal for these two multiplex cells. As you can see it for the value source A is come from the reduced temporal register A or from the program. Counter. So whenever we want to add program counter by 4, we will use the value because we don't have any. Other in this multi-cycle data path we have to use the value. So by I'll use source A, we can select that A should become to the value or the program counter. Here we have a 4 by 1 multiple Excel, so I'll use source B is a 2-bit signal. It can be 00, 0 when we want to select from the register file. It can be 0, 1 when we want to add a constant value 4 as the second operand of the value. It can be signed extended immediate value when it is 1, 0 or 2 and it can be signed extended. And 2 times she lifted the value when it is 1, 1. So by this way we can select one of these four inputs and give it to the value for the further processing. So Alexa chooses between the contents of temporal register, B the content, the constant for the immediate field or the leave shifted immediate field as the second operand. So we need a combination of care to control all of these signals. And these are two beat signals and their different values or in operation as we have in the previous data path. It can be 00, zero when we want to perform additions. It can be 0, 01 when we want to perform subtract operation and it can be 10. Then according to the function field, after an extraction, the value determines the operation. Also, we have to bit signal for second source of the value. As I mentioned in the previous slide, you can select between may just temporal register be it constant value for or sign extended 16-bit value of the instruction or sign extended and shifted left by 2 to beat value that comes for jumping an option. And finally, PC source is the last 2-bit control signal piece is source here. As you can see, it can take three values when it is zero. The value comes from the value and this will be loaded into the program counter. For example, when you want to add program pointer plus four, you have to select input 0 from this. Multiplexing for the jumping instruction, we have to select input 2 of this multiple Excel. And finally, input 1 is connected to the value out. And these are two big signals and their different values or a new operation, as we have in the previous data path. It can be 00, zero when we want to perform addition. It can be 0, 01 when we want to perform subtract operation and it can be 10. Then according to the function field, after an extraction, we the value determines the operation. Also, we have to beat signal for second source of the value. 
As I mentioned in the previous slide, you can select between which just temporal register, be it constant. Value for or sign extended 16-bit value of the instruction or sign extended and shifted left by 2. To meet value that comes for jumping a selection. And finally, PC source is the last 2-bit control signal P source here. As you can see, it can take three values when it is zero. The value comes from the value and it will be loaded into the program counter. For example, when you want to add program 40 plus 4, you have to select input 0 from this multiplex. For the jump in instruction, we have to select input to office multiple Excel and finally input 1. Is connected to the value out.